male sorcerer to Hatshepsut. With this amulet, you and your descendants are endowed by the goddess Isis with the powers of the animals and the elements. You will soar as the falcon soars, run with the speed of gazelles, and command the elements of sky and earth. 3,000 years later, a young science teacher dug up this lost treasure and found she was heir to the secrets of Isis. And so, unknown to even her closest friends, Rick Mason and Cindy Lee, she became a dual person, Andrea Thomas, teacher. Oh, my Isis. And Isis, dedicated foe of evil, defender of the weak, champion of truth and justice. Plenty of room on that table. Okay. How about these books? On the shelf under the window. And put these with them so there's plenty of room for that new microscope. <laughs> I'll help you in a minute. I'm still busy with these books. Right. If you weren't such a lazy bird, you'd help us. Ah, lazy bird! You sure are. Andrea, what are these? Hi, Rick. Look, a request for two new aquariums, three new terrariums, a microscope. Well. Aquariums are for keeping fish. Terrariums are for plant life, and... I know what they're for. What I don't know is why we need so many all of a sudden. Wayne Moss. The new student? I heard the kids are giving him a bad time. They are. They think he's some kind of hillbilly. He is the best biology student I've ever had. He knows more about plants and animals than any other boy or girl I've ever taught. The rest of us could learn from him. Right. I don't think Dr. Barnes is going to go for this. The school budget's very tight this year, but he does have the final decision. It's just that Wayne Moss is a very special student. But the other kids aren't going to listen to Wayne. Not as long as they think of him as a, as a, uh, an outsider or, or some kind of freak from the mountains. Hey, Wayne! Hey, nature boy! Catch, buddy! How about it, Wayne? Going to our game against Westside High tomorrow? No, Wayne doesn't like sports. Yeah, well, maybe he could go on the field and play with that fuzzy raccoon Westside calls their mascot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Wayne's it true you can talk to animals? Well, not only that, he can read their minds. <laughs> Very weird. Wayne! Wayne? Have you got a minute? Hey, Wayne, teacher's calling. You better get going. <laughs> what a thing. You know what he needs is a friend. Really? How about a cute, fuzzy little friend? Yeah. Wally the raccoon, West Side's mascot. We'll kidnap him from West Side this afternoon. We'll pin it on old Wayne. Well, let's be on our way. OK, come on. Do you want to see me, Miss Thomas? Let's go talk to Dr. Barnes about the new lab equipment. Yes, ma'am. I think we'll be getting an OK for that new microscope. Yes, ma'am. Listen. I know it's been rough on you this first semester, but a big city's, well, it's not quite as friendly as what you're used to back home. Well, I tell you, man, it's not just the people. It's the the pavement and the, the concrete and the smog. I tell you, there just ain't no place left to be in the city, you know? I know. It's going to take a little time, Wayne. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I just ain't going to make it. Wayne, wait. What's wrong? It's Wayne. I can't seem to get through to him. Maybe I can. I think I know where he's going. He's always alone at the pond on the old Wilson property. I'll see if I can find him. Well, it's the first time I've seen this growing around here. It looks like a weed. Oh, no, there's no such thing as a weed. No? No, sir. Every plant around here is useful in some way or another. This one's called Burridge. It grows wild all over here. Back home, we used to boil the leaves and make a brew. It's good for settling an upset stomach or taking the itch away when you got the chicken pox. <laughs> Makes a right tasty salad, too. I never would have noticed it. 
Yeah, well, you know, there's lots of things that people just don't notice, you know? I mean, they got eyes okay and ears, but they got no idea on how to use them. Yeah, go on, listen carefully. You'd be surprised what you can hear in the woods. See? Come on. Now, what did you go get yourself into, huh? Come on, take it easy. I'm not gonna hurt you. No, sir, not at all. I'm gonna get you free. There you go. On your way. You mind you take care. <laughs> you better watch him, Mama. You know, if he'd been caught up in that brush much longer, he'd be fair game for an owl or a hawk. You spend a lot of time here. Yeah. Nobody comes up here but me and the wild animals and the thirsty birds. <laughs> you know, Wayne? Miss Thomas thinks you're terrific. She says it's really rare to have a student like you. She said that. How'd you like to see a family of snowy white owls? Okay. All right, follow me. It's up there. Uh, football weather. Right. I can smell it. Football fever, too. It said it's pretty bad this time. I'll be at the game tomorrow. Oh, here, let me help you with that. Oh, thank you. I wasn't talking about the game. Dr. Barnes just got a call from the principal of Westside Hive. Seems that somebody stole the team mascot. The raccoon? Mm -hmm. Oh, Rick, who'd want to do something like that? Beats me. But whoever it was was wearing jeans, a plaid shirt, and a straw hat. It sounds like Wayne. Oh, no. Oh, yes. It's possible a couple of the guys were hassling him today. He may have tried it just to win points and get some attention. Any idea where he might be? Cindy tells me he hangs out at the old Wilson place. I'll check it out. Okay. Hey, you know, these clothes are really a good idea. He doesn't look too much. I wouldn't worry. He's probably just not used to us yet. Maybe he's a little hungry. But I already gave him a half a leftover sandwich. We'll give him the other half. Hey, you know, Wayne Moss is going to be one surprised hillbilly when some of those West Side guys come looking for their old mascot. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. <laughs> you mean his boots, yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> You don't, you don't think he's dying or something, do you? I don't know. What if he gets worse? Yeah, the owls over in those trees over there. In those trees next to the big pine. If we're lucky, we can get a good look at them. What's this? from 45,000 up. Oh, houses? Why on earth do they have to put houses in here? Cindy, do you know what this means? If they put houses here and all those trees are gonna be gone. Just look at those trees. Look it up there on that branch. You see that? These trees are gone. Those squirrels will probably die of starvation. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm not gonna let them do it. Well, sure, I just ain't gonna let it happen. Well, come on, aren't you gonna help me knock it down? We can't, Wayne. That's not the way. Yeah, I'll do it myself. Wayne, listen. This land belongs to someone else. You've got no right.
from this rock be still. Let me roll it up the hill. Thanks a lot, Isis. Hey! Hey! What are you doing with my bulldozer? What's the big idea? I reckon I'm in trouble. I reckon. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope I didn't wreck your bulldozer. You've got no business climbing into a machine you don't know how to handle. You could have been hurt. Are you all right? Yeah, boy. If it hadn't been for Isis, I don't know what I would have done. Look, sir, I'll pay for any damages I might have done to your dozer. What were you doing in it in the first place? Well, I don't want you to build houses here. You just can't. Like it or not, that's the plan. But you don't understand, sir. This pond is special. Hey, there's no place around like it for hundreds of miles. Well, it's out of my hands, son. I don't own it. Belongs to another fellow, big land developer. He can do anything he wants to with it, I guess. I'm just his contractor. Well, isn't there something we can do? Something other than busting down signs with bulldozers. Yes, ma'am. OK, there are legal ways to handle things. We can file an environmental impact report. That's an ecology study. Well, I'm afraid it's too late for that. The blueprints have been approved by the City Building Commission. I've got a work crew coming in tomorrow. Matter of fact, I was supposed to drain the pond this afternoon. This afternoon? Sir, you just can't do that. Mister, you drain the pond and it's gone forever. Did you know that birds fly here for miles and miles to get rested up before they go further south? And there's all kinds of fish and, and small game. Hey, mister, you take the water away and that's all gonna be gone forever. No one's ever gonna hear the sound of a, of a night hawk crying again or the sounds of bullfrogs hollering to beat the band in springtime. Sir, we just can't lose all those things. Now, maybe you're right, son, but I've got a job to do. I've got a work crew coming in. I've got to set this dynamite, open up the dam so I can clear the land. Wait a minute, sir. I want you to look here. It's all recorded in this book. There are more than 25 species of birds around here. Well, there's all kinds of beaver, owls, muskrat. There's a whole world that you're going to destroy. What's your boss's name? Winston. Har Winstead. Has Mr. Winstead ever walked this property? Has he ever really seen what's here? No, I don't believe so. I think he flew over it once in his plane when he bought the land, before he put the architects to work. But I don't think he's walked it, fished the pond, or spent any time here. Where can I find Mr. Winstead? Wednesday's his golf day. You'll probably find him on the golf course. I want to see him. One last try. Can you give me some time? I don't know that's going to do any good. Winston's a tough nut to crack. I'll give you till 4 o'clock. I'll be up at the dam. Thanks. Wayne, can I borrow your field notes? Oh, sure. This will be our ecology study for the time being. Let's see if it'll help Mr. Winstead understand. Yeah. Mm, thanks. Good luck. Yeah. It'll be OK. Mr. Mason can come on strong. Well, I sure hope so. Wayne! Hey, Wayne! Man, you've got to help us. It's a whole mess. We, uh, stolen from West Side, and we were going to bum rat you. I'm sorry. What's the matter, friend? Huh? Are you off your feed? That's what it looks like. Yeah, it sure does. What'd you guys give him to eat? Nothing much. Nothing much of what? A sandwich left over from lunch a couple days ago. Well, for a couple of smart Alex, you guys sure are dumb. No sandwich is probably spoiled. 
Oh, Raleigh here's probably got food poisoning. What do we do? Well, Burridge. That's right. Hey, you learn quick. Come on, let's go get him something. It's a very complete study. This boy Wayne must be quite a naturalist. Yes, sir. Snowy owls. Well, I had no idea they got this far south. Last time I saw any of those was when I was a youngster in Fort Worth. Muskrats, too. Well, they're all out of your pond, along with every other bird, animal, and plant in that book. Well, I had no idea that pond supported so much wildlife. You ought to come out there before it's gone. It won't be gone, Mr. Mason. Now, you get back out there as fast as you can and get in touch with my foreman, Mr. Tilden. Tell him to forget his dynamite and tell him I'm changing my plans. Now, if you hurry, you can make it. Thank you, Mr. Winstead. You know, it's did it, Wayne. Mr. Winstead agreed. Fabulous. I don't know what great. he's going to do, but the pond is safe for now, at least. That's great. Wait a minute, the dynamite, it's nearly 4 o'clock. Come oh, on. Let's go. They may not make it. If that dynamite goes off, you stay here with Raleigh. I'll try to catch them. Damn, we talked to your boss. No, stay back here. It's too late. It's too late, but the bond can stay. Your boss said so. It's too late. It can't be too late. I gotta get the dynamite. Sorry, Wayne, I can't let you go out there. Wait. Look, it's ISIS. Oh, Zephyr winds which blow on high, lift me now so I can fly. Hurry. Thanks a lot, Mr. Mason. So Thank you. <laughs> Sir, thanks a lot. <laughs> I left Rolly by the train. I saw it. I saw it. How about that ISIS? Now, what a throw. She could pitch for our team anytime. Where is everyone? Over here. Is everyone all right? Oh, I heard a terrible explosion. Where were you? You missed it, Andrea. I mean, ISIS flew. It, uh, it was incredible. What happened? Did you get lost? I did. I get lost in the woods. He can teach you everything you want to know about the woods. From now on, old Wayne Moss is part of our gang. <laughs> well, just don't go around stealing any more raccoons, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs>